the road ahead It twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through And every step quicker than the last My feet tread down this beaten path And I keep, keep on pushing through Cause I get up And I may fall right back down But your love lifts me back to solid ground Good afternoon guys, so it is brunch time, well lunch time now, but we're having brunch today because they're having eggs for lunch, so I guess it's a bit of a brunch. Um, I went and got these star stencils uh, from Kmart yesterday, and I thought that I could just cut out their sandwich so they eat it, especially AV, because I feel like that'll be motivation for her to finish. Um, so this is Zoe's plate, and that's Ava's plate. I don't know, we'll see how they go. She wants a regular chair. So, you're not that big yet, darling. Oh. Where did I go? She's like, Mommy, I'm gonna sit here whether you like it or not. Come over here, Zoe. This is your chair. Special chair, just for Zozo. Come on. Ah. <laughs> I don't have a fork. Do star sandwiches taste better than normal sandwiches? It tastes... I think I want to have these for breakfast tomorrow. You do? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad they taste better. They're pretty cool. What do you think, Zoe? I like the butter in it. Yeah, it's very nice, huh? I like the butter. I like the peanut butter. This one's just like eating her strawberries. Yum, yum, yum. Good job, so. So uh, yesterday, I finally managed to take the booster board mini out to test it out for a proper skate, but it, it, it didn't quite go to plan. Um, I was having a lot of fun until, um, let me just, just, just watch the clip. <laughs> To be honest, I'm not really sure what happened. I feel like something in my brain just misfired and I went to hit the brakes, but for some reason I pushed forward instead of backwards. And when you're braking on a boosted board, you're supposed to lean into it. You're supposed to lean forward to counteract the jerkiness of, of it pulling back. So when I pushed forward and leaned forward, I went flying off it. Um, I'm all good, I got, got some cuts on my hand, uh, a new rip in my jeans, which, I mean, all my jeans have rips, so it's nothing new. My jacket's cool, I'm cool. All in all, aside from the crash, I actually quite like the Boosted Mini. I feel like it was a good investment. It, uh, it rides pretty much the same as the other one. It's just a little bit harder. It doesn't flex as much, but it's still smooth. Um, I just, yeah, I don't know. Something's wrong with my brain today. I just, I wasn't thinking. This is what we have at the, the at small school. school. Do they? Yeah, they So do. you think Zoe can do this one and we will do this one? I think I want to do this one and I'm you this one. All right. Let's Pretty sure that's what I just said, but okay. Let's. Ah, 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 ah. You don't touch knives, excuse me. Only small ones. Look, this is only small ones. Oh, okay. Do you think that'll open it? Okay, show me how you're going to open it then. Maybe okay, it might then. be easier if you do it like this. I'm going to rip it open now. There's five different puzzles to do. Okay, we'll do this one first, all right? Maybe this goes like this. Oh, it does go like that. Okay. 
got to find a corner, Amy. A corner piece like this. I think maybe this goes here. Tell me where that one goes. Wow. Oh, clever bird! Yeah, yeah. Wow! Good job, Amy. Do you want to do a different one? Yeah. There's five puzzles in here. Aren't you so lucky to have five puzzles? Wow! I can't believe you did that already. She's so smart. You're so good, Amy. Even oh. the ones I was stuck on, she literally did it in three seconds. Serious? Seconds. Yeah. Good job, okay. baby. So he's over here playing oh, with Elsa. Get us the <laughs> You're a stand, let me sing it really loud so that it doesn't pick it up for copyright. Oh. Cold Rage on. My voice never bothered you anyway, said no, nobody. The cold, the cold never bothered me anyway. It's your favorite line, isn't it, baby? I'm about to head into the city. I'm going to check out this place called the Mercedes Me Store. I've been wanting to check it out for a while. Basically, it's like this creative hub, so to speak. You're ready. <laughs> oh man, she's gonna be upset she's not coming. Basically, it's like this uh, creative hub that they've, they've set up in the city. Okay, and um, they have a lot of creative thinkers, artists, uh, musicians. You'll be a little bit bored, sweetie. No, oh, I won't. You will? No. Oh my goodness, I how am I going to get out of this? Dada. Let me tell you what they're going to be talking about, all right? Is this quest for true happiness making us truly miserable? Join us at the Mercedes Me store tonight. I want to talk about that. You want to talk about it? Uh -huh. You do? Yeah. Okay, all right, let's have a discussion, just you and me then. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about happiness. What do you think about happiness? I think about fairies about happiness. And thinking about fairies makes you happy? Yeah. That's actually a pretty interesting insight. And why does thinking about fairies make you happy? Because they talk. Because they, they, because they say nice they're things real. And they're real? Uh -huh. Now, what advice would you have for other people who are seeking happiness? Um, like princesses. They should like princesses and they'll be happy. Yeah, that's pretty good advice, actually. Whole thing. Pour it all in. Huh? All in. Ah, good job. Pour it all away. All of it. Good job. And now we can do it. That's one. Two. Butter. Butter. Now we just need butter. Should I stir? Mm. Now I'm going to need you to put them in here. Can you help me? Do we just want silver ones or do we want ones like this too? No. Um, yes. Nope. So we'll have like some of each. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put them in the oven. Put them in the oven. Let's go. Lot of cupcakes, hey? So here are our cupcakes. <laughs> I definitely need some practice with this frosting stuff. Um, it's my first time ever piping anything into a bag, so. I broke it. It's okay. But they look uh, pretty cool. Do we need sprinkles? Yes, there's sprinkles down there. 
I need an encore, y'all. You should welcome me back. You want a ball till you fall? I can help you with that. You want beef? I can let a slug melt in your hat. Cause I'm a wild barbarian. Too hard, I'm scaring them. Century 21 solar eclipse. While you listen to the words that I wrote on the disc. Balonius, my description is do rag. Pants sag down to my feet. AK is my heat. A day in the street till I lay six feet. QB, PJs, and we playing for keeps. Jewelry, cars, and Jeeps is my motto. Four fives with the hollows. Silences on the nozzle. question so we're going to this thing and i was reading up about it i don't even really know what it is but um apparently there's going to be like some discussion about happiness and about how people in this world are obsessed with the idea of happiness and you know like the perception of happiness isn't necessarily what happiness really is or what happiness yeah. should be um and I was chatting with Ava before I left about what she believes happiness is and happiness to her is thinking about fairies and princesses, yeah, yeah, which it. is a dope answer. Yeah. And it kind of got me thinking about what happiness is to me. And I was curious, what is, what is happiness to you? It's a to big honest, question. It's a big question. And I guess it's like, it can be a very hard question because there's a lot of complexities. Yep. But to be honest, it's a simple. I think happiness is simple. I feel like at the end of the day, true happiness is being happy with who you are, being around family. Definitely, definitely. And being able to give back. So those are my like principles yeah, of being happy. Yeah, I feel like you, it's impossible. I feel like it's impossible to be happy within yourself if you're not somehow trying to make others happy as well. That's, you know what? And that's a very big conversation. Mm -hmm, a very big Because one. like, it depends what you give yeah. and how much you give, mm -hmm. you know? But and you can't only, like, if you yeah. only give to others and don't take time yeah. to give to yourself as well, then I don't feel like you can feel happy. But vice versa, or if you only give to yourself and don't give to others, then you can't be happy either. I think at the end of the day, it is a very, a very, very trick question. But the truth is, when you do give back, you just give back without expecting. Mm -hmm. And you just do the right thing. Yeah. And I feel like deep down, we all know what the right thing is. That's true. And just as long as we're doing that. What's what's something like, let's make the question a little bit, a little bit more basic. What's something that makes you happy? Like it could be like making music, it could be eating food. Um, um, like what's Getting real deep here, Jamie. This is, this is a little bit more on the less deep side. Like what's something that makes you happy? Um, something that makes me happy, I guess, is being able to enjoy making, being creative around yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. Being able That's, to be creative around people that I enjoy being creative, yeah. being, being around. Because I, I was thinking about it and I thought like the obvious answer is family, my kids. Mm -hmm. Like they're of course what make me happy but aside from that making videos is what makes me happy and i was actually thinking about it a little bit deeper like being creative has always been my passion in life what makes me happy um growing up it was always about music like i wrote music i recorded music and to a certain degree that made me happy because the finished product like the finished song made me happy being able to record being able to recite that song being able to feel like i created something it made me happy but at the same time when I, when I was making music, there was a part of me that would sort of focus on the negative things in order to get inspiration. So I was like, did it truly make me happy? And I, I, I honestly can't tell you if it did or if it didn't. But with making videos, I feel like making videos is what truly makes me happy because when I make videos, I can focus on happiness. Like generally when I make a video, I'm focusing on crafting something yeah. to show the best of it, to show the best of that work. World, to show the best of that person, to show the best of that that moment, mm. and it's where I really focus on happiness. But you know what? It really shows on your work as well. Oh, thanks, bro. I appreciate. You know, it. like the talent is out of control. Like, and I can tell that you're so passionate mm. about it. Well, it's like yeah. other people's happiness is what makes me happy, and seeing that through a lens really emphasizes that. So I guess you could say other people's happiness is what makes me happy, but creating something out of that is what, like that's my it. favorite thing. There's two parts to that, bro. Yeah. Exactly yeah. two parts. And you know what, it's very humbling to hear. That's the best way to live, bro. I think you got to figure it out, eh? <laughs>
<laughs> anyway, let's eat. Enough of this deep combo. Let's eat. I'm hungry. We love racing downhill together. He doesn't know how to get up. <laughs> as fast as we can. He doesn't know how to get up. Yeah, Daddy Pig is. What's he doing? Scootering up. He's doesn't, scootering up the hill. He doesn't know how to. Oh, it's very hard, isn't it? Daddy Pig goes. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. My mummy is super fast, says Pepper. So Ava's dollhouse only came with Caucasian <laughs> doll people. I got her some brown pigs. Is that Grandpa? Yeah. Wow. So that's like mummy's daddy, isn't it? Little Zoe darling, isn't it? I think this one is me. The next one. Little baby. But you can educate them. You can educate them in what way? Yeah, like if find out what makes them not happy and then make them happy. Okay, but yeah. is that your responsibility? To yes, it happy? is. As a human being, it's our responsibility to make sure that we're happy and the people around us are happy. That's okay. how. That's how I see it. Yeah. Okay, excellent. Any other thoughts on this? Yes. I think if we see the happiness as an like intrinsic or internal thing, yeah. then I only it can be governed by like external things. To me, human right means like the government is responsible for making us happy or the laws should be such that they allow us to be happy. And I think you can have all the laws and all the government can do whatever they want and we can also to be unhappy because it's like up to each of us right. to find our own happiness. And so it's, I think human right to me is more of an ex external thing and happiness is more of an internalized thing. So a human right or a universal thing where happiness is always going to be subjective, specific to the individual. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we just finished up. <laughs> Basically, the, the way that all worked was we sat down at a table and we had this guy speaking to us about happiness, what is happiness, um, what is melancholy. It was one really interesting conversation. Does a relationship that's built on melancholy have a better foundation than yeah. one that's built on happiness? Which sounds really depressing, but it really got us thinking about like, if you go through a hard time with someone or someone could relate to your hard times, and then you relate to that and then you then have like a um like you find a way to talk about happy things after that then your relationship may potentially be better than say someone that you just hang out with at nightclubs and go to parties with and stuff like that and then you feel a little bit awkward to talk about your harder moments so basically they were talking about stuff like that and then they would break us up into one-on-one -on -one groups with a complete stranger, we'd uh, just have to sit with someone that we'd never met. So random. And so talk random. about all these different questions and being completely open and honest. And it was, it was really, really insightful. Really good, really good. You got to know like really interesting people. Well, to be honest, like, like I was just telling Jamie before, we were on, like if you're on a train or a bus, you wouldn't have a serious no, conversation no. with someone just like that. And it's so interesting to get to know someone, a complete stranger, and telling them about like, hearing about their story, yeah, yeah. you know, and it was really... And it really opens your mind up yeah. as well. It makes you think about things in a different way. Like, I really enjoyed it. I had no idea what to expect, but uh, yeah, thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you liked today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.